Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Christopher Groves for CG Gear. Um, here we're going to do be doing tech reviews. We're going to be doing um, just the latest stuff. A lot of Apple stuff is what I'm into right now. So we're going to be touching on a lot of that kind of stuff on this channel. So this is the first video I'm doing for this channel. We're going to be looking at the... Um, this is the MagSafe wallet attachment for the iPhone. That is the main topic of today's video. But first, I just wanted to let everybody know that there's a ton of videos on this thing on YouTube already. Why am I doing another video on it? Because I just felt like I wanted to add my two cents into uh, the YouTube world on how I feel and how um, I've used the wallet and what I think about it. Um, etc. So you're going to get my personal view, some of you will be able to relate to it. Now, just before I go into that, I, I'm not going to rant, I'm not going to ramble, but I just want to say the main reason why I was looking at this um, is because I'm trying to uh, uh, get to a more minimalistic lifestyle in general. Minimalism. Um, I'm the kind of guy that before I would have a gig or I'd have a um, event or something and I'd have my camera bag filled with all my cameras, all my lenses, plan for every single contingency possible and be carrying around 40 pounds of equipment um, when uh, I actually get to do the job and I use one lens and I use one camera and that's it. So minimalism is the goal right now. So one of the things to do that was the Apple uh, I actually got the official Apple one here, if you can focus. Uh, it's just the magnet, MagSafe attachment for the Apple Watch, for the Apple Watch iPhone. You all know this, here's an iPhone. Here's the magnet. We'll load the back like so. When you attach it, phone does that to let you know that it's been attached anyway and it's nice especially when you're trying to be minimalistic to go from to go from this right to this definitely prefer this okay that's the end of the video that's all you need to know okay so anyway so but this is my goal, carry around driver's license, carry around either a debit or credit card. I try not to use my carry my credit card around because it makes me feel like I've got way more money than I do have. Carry around your debit card and once that balance hits zero, that's it. No more spending. So that's the plan. Also, no um, surprise spending. So like if I log on to Amazon, and I find something I want to buy and I don't have my credit card, I don't remember um, the security code. If I get to a website and they ask me for that, beautiful, perfect, I don't remember, save myself uh, possibly hundreds of dollars on any purchases. So I've got two cards in here. I think if you really wanted to, you can squeeze another one in maybe. Um, and then on the contrary, you can carry just one card if you really wanted to. It's not going to slip out. It's got like, just kind of, it seems like when you push the card in, there's like some resistance down here. So you can get away with just carrying one card without having to worry about it falling out. I've had this for about, uh, maybe, a month no three weeks maybe so far and I've lost it once so that's another thing people think about are these gonna get lost are they gonna fall off your phone blah 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 I haven't lost it because it fell off of my phone like it does it's on there it's on there pretty good but it's not rock solid it comes off fairly easily but I find that just the way it's used like it's not gonna slip off your hand while you're talking or when you're um, doing anything like that the only time it comes loose is when I'm trying to put it in my pocket. So at that time, it's obvious that, okay, it's shaking loose. I, I'm either gonna like 
push it off completely and let it just sit in my pocket or I'm going to reattach it and let it sit in my pocket. If I'm taking it out, I, I feel it all the time. So I either take it out with my phone or depending on what I'm doing, I'll pull out, I'll pull the phone out of my pocket and kind of like push this off so this sits in my pocket. So it's actually kind of nice the way it works that way. I really um, enjoy it. The only reason I lost it is because I, um, the only reason I lost it is because I put my phone down with the wallet on my coffee table and my kids got a hand up, hold of it, probably my daughter was playing with it, knocked it under the couch, couldn't find it for a day or two. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just check under the couch. Boom. It was right there. So, um, yeah, so I'm not worried about losing it all. I'm not worrying about it getting knocked off accidentally and falling in and, and I don't know what's there. It just does not work like that, especially with my usage. I don't use um, a case generally. I have like a clear case that I was using on my iPhone. And I believe that this does attach over the case. It wasn't a MagSafe case. It was just a thin clear case like a spy gen or something like that. Um, but I have not tried to use it with this yet. Um, but I've seen other reviewers put this on top of a non MagSafe thin case and it sticks as well. So that's good. So anyway, my two cents, my uh, summary is this is uh, a good product. Um, it looks good. It's very sleek, very stylish, very minimalistic is what I, is what I was going for. And um, the only downside is it's expensive. Um, I believe this was uh, 60 or $70 uh, in Canadian. Maybe less, maybe give or take. I'll double check the price on that. But um, I had a couple of Apple gift cards. So I just threw, the, threw it on to the gift card. And that's why I don't even really know the price because I had two, three hundred dollars worth of Apple gift cards and just threw it on there. But yeah, don't regret the purchase. Really enjoying it. I haven't used my um, full wallet since I've had that. Um, and I've never missed carrying around cash. I've never missed having coins, definitely. And I've, um, yeah, it just works great for me. Um, I recommend it uh, based on anything I said on this video already. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to assist. Um, or answer your questions on it you can start a conversation what's not um, but other than that if you've enjoyed this video if it's been helpful to you please like subscribe to my channel this is going to be where i'm going to be posting a lot of tech reviews um, the next thing i think i'm going to look at is um, gaming on ipad pro 2020 um, m1 app ipad pro the, the latest one that just came out and uh we'll see what happens um, next week during the Apple um, event that they just announced for Tuesday the 14th. It should be good. Looking forward to some new iPhones. That's probably also another video I'm going to do um, depending on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So um, yeah, stay tuned. A lot of good content coming this way. Anything that you'd like to see me review. Um, anything in my background that you'd like to know about, let me know. Uh, excuse me. Excuse the mess. My um, storage over there is a little messy. My desk is a little messy. But um, yeah, just getting started here. Uh, I'm glad to be on YouTube on this new channel dedicated to tech reviews. So for now, Christopher Groves is signing out for CG Gear. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.